Hello, welcome to this publisher tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at Microsoft Publisher, of course, and how to create a booklet in Publisher. And in this, in particular, this booklet is going to be an A5 size booklet. Um, I tell you what, let, let me show you what I mean. Uh, I've got one uh, here that we've got here. In fact, we can do something like that. In fact, I did a whole video, this publisher tutorial video before, and then I forgot to put the microphone in, you know, so well there we go so this is the idea so this is an A4 standard A4 page and then it's just been folded and then stuck together so we've got a front cover so things to, to notice here we've got the front cover there you can see that okay yeah that's good and then if I turn over then I've got uh, the credits page here like so so there's credits page and they'll be on the back there then the page numbers then start from here yeah and notice they're in the corners and if I turn over here like so I can see the page numbers in the corners just here and I can see a page numbers here notice as well there's the center page spread just there as well we'll have a look at that and just getting some pictures there and if I turn the page here like so I can see I've got the center page spread that works out there and I've got page numbers in the corner just here and then I've got my final page little happy face hopefully it will all work so there we go that's what we're going to create um, it's similar to the one that I've done there but uh, it's a little different so we're going to start from scratch with this one so let me put this one down here of course um, if you uh, haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel uh, computer tutoring please uh, have a look at our website for any training courses so we do publisher of course as and publisher tutorials training as well um, and please give this a thumbs up if you've got anything out of that it'll make me feel really good fantastic great so let us start so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file uh, and then we're going to go to new so file and new so what I like to do here is make sure you've got office selected just over here you see so just make sure you've got office selected and then I'm going to click on more blank page sizes now the page size that I'm particularly interested in is A5. I only have A4 paper in my printer. I don't have any. It can't, I don't think it can print anything larger. So it's A5 portrait. So you can see that there, A5 portrait. So let's give that a click. Uh, that's good. Uh, in fact, if I double click, it just create a new A5 portrait page. And there it is. Great, our A5 portrait page. So we've got a bit of work to do before we go and start creating this booklet in publisher so first thing we're going to do is we want to see a, a spread view two page spread so over here on the left hand side if you uh, right click just on this sort of pagey thing here if you right click on it and then go down to and choose view two page spread so you can see that there view two page spread and now you can see this is a two page spread it doesn't look like two page spread at the moment uh, we need to add a few more pages in, so let's do that, shall we? So again, we're going to right-click and choose Insert Page. Now, what we're going to do and start off with here, we're just going to insert three pages. So I'm just going to type three, and it's after the current page, and they're going to be blank pages. Let me just zoom in, so if you're sometimes wondering what do you need to be selecting here. Oh, just adjust myself. I feel all formal I've just done a half-day training course, and I love what I love about half-day training courses is I've got half a day free. So because I've got half a day free, I'm, I'm just going to do this new publisher tutorial. Great. So back to this. See, you've got the number of new pages. Here we've got is three. After the current page, they're going to be blank pages. Fantastic. Click on OK. I swore I wasn't going to use that word too much. Fantastic. Great. <laughs> I'm going to use great now, aren't I? I just know it. So there we go. Page one, page two and three, page four. Brilliant. Now, let us put in page numbers. I think that's the next thing we need to do. So um, if you haven't already done so, then I really highly recommend that you look at the publisher tutorial on page numbers and how to insert page numbers, etc. Uh, that involves master pages as well, but we're going to do it through this. So uh, let's get started. So if you want to insert the page numbers, uh, you can go to insert and page number here which is good and then you can decide where you want to put page number so I just want to get a page number on there so if we choose insert from the uh, you saw that from the ribbon here at the top and then over on that side here you've got the page number and you can start choosing the page numbers uh, it was bottom I think it was a bottom center and there we go I was on page four there and then if I go to pages two and three I can see that there and then page one yeah that's great excellent now what I need to do is I, I want to put a cover you know this page one is literally going to be my cover page my front page and I don't want 
a page number on that page. You understand? It's not great. I might have a big picture. In fact, on that last one, I had a picture of a motorbike. I'm um, going to see if we can then rec you know, recreate that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a master page or, in effect, remove a master page over here on the left. So if you right click on page one, go down to choose master pages and then choose none and you can see the page number is gone. It's disappeared. So now it's ready to put a picture in. And what I normally do is I use a picture placeholder here and then decide where I'm going to put the picture here. So if I want it to be full page, I would click over here and drag this down and drag it down here again. I highly recommend looking at my, my bleeds video if you want to do edge to edge printing to make sure that you send it when you send it to a printers, you don't get gaps near the edge. That's not an impossible when you're using things like desk jets and especially laser printers as well. So let's click on the picture. Let's see if we, what picture we can put in here. And I'm going to type in motorcycle. There we go. And let's have a look and see what pictures we've got. There we go. So if we scroll down, so this is just a Bing image search and this is the one I used before. So I quite like that one. So I'm going to insert. Yeah, that's way too big. So I tell you what, I'm going to click on this fit button just at the top of it. You can you, you see that one there? Just this fit here. So there we go. So if we could click on that fit, that's great. I'm just going to crop this down a little bit here and drag the crop up here like so. That's fine. I can click away and then just drag this down. You know, if I need to adjust it small amounts, I can use the cursor, the arrow keys on the keyboard and shift as well and I can move it around there. That's great. Uh, let's put some text on. So insert, draw text box. Let's draw it. That's it. You know, on your bike. There we go. It's control A and let's just increase the size of that. That looks good. Uh, let's just decrease it a little bit and then we can choose like a fancy font. You know, there we go. Um, yeah, Harold Black will do. Let's choose it, make it, put it into the center. That's good. <clears throat> That's fantastic. Yeah, all right. So now we go to page two and three. Ah, oh, yeah. We have a little problem here. You see, even though I'm not seeing the page number on page one, if I go to page two and three, uh, I've still got, you know, I really want page one to be this page. At the moment, it's page three. I want it to be page one. So what do I do? Well, what I can do is I need to recreate sections. So what do I mean by that? So for instance, if I think, you know what, I right click and I go to page numbers and format page numbers. When I go start this section with, you see, what is this section? I need to create a new section. So if I click on cancel here, um, I need to create a new section between pages two and three. So if you right click on pages two and three, go down to and choose insert section. Okay, and then notice here there's two options. One that's before the left page, one that's before the right page. So what's the difference? Well, if you choose before the left page, that will choose a new page or a new section between pages one and two. Uh, if you wanted to choose before the right page, it would do a new section between pages two and three. Now, because I want page three to be page one uh, eventually, uh, I'm going to choose before the right page. So that's what I want you to do. So if you can do that, choose before the right page. And there you go. It looks kind of weird. You know, because it on this screen here, when you're viewing the spread, it looks like it's all together. But if you look over here, you can see that these sections are different. So now I've got a new section. I can right click. I can then go to page numbers. I can then go to format page numbers here. And then I can say start this section with and I'm going to go to number one and click on OK. And there we go. We've got number one. Absolutely great. Um, We've got number two here. In fact, uh, yeah, that's going on really quite well. Funny thing with the number two, I haven't got a page number on page one. If I go to page two, I really don't want a page number on page two. I want to try and remove that. Now, here's where the problem is. You see, when I click on one, that's page one. If I click on page two, it's part of the same spread, even though it's two separate sections. So the problem is, is if I right click page two here, and then I go to master pages and then go to none to remove it. It removes it from page one as well. It's not the ideal result, is it? So what I need to do, let me just bring that back here. So if I right click and then go master pages and yeah, I need to go into master pages and I need to create some uh, other master pages so I can put not just um, 
page numbers on particular pages with this spread, but I want to put them in the corners as well, in the left corner and the right corner, corner on each page uh, on the appropriate pages. So what I want you to do is right click page one, master pages, edit master pages. So if you right click page one, in fact, you could right click any page or if you know uh, any other way of going to master pages, you can do that as well if you want to. But I need to right click master pages, edit master pages here, that's good. So now we're in our master page editing section. If you look, you can see at the top, we've got master page on the ribbon up here. If you want to close it, we're not going to click on that. But if you do want to close that, we can click on the close master page button just there. So first thing we need to do is we're going to insert a new master. So we're going to click on this add page or add master page button just here at the top. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click on add master page. So here's the new master page here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call this one uh, page num right. And then I'm also going to check two page master because this is going to be a two page master. Let me just zoom in so you can actually see what I mean here. So firstly, you've got the prefix, which is B. I'm not changing that. That's absolutely fine. And then page num right is because I eventually want this master just to have page numbers on the right hand side of, you know, on every right page you know, yeah, here. Um, obviously, I'm just going to use this for once, really. So let's see if we can do that. So I'm going to click on, um, make sure two pages is, is ticked. And then we're going to click on OK. That's great. That's fine. So we've got our spread there. We're then going to click on Show Header and Footer. So if you click on Show Header and Footer, I'm just going to scroll down. I'm more interested in the footer and more interested in the footer on this side, just over here. So if you just click inside the footer here, that's good. So what I want to do is move that to the right hand side of the page. So if I go to home and then press right, so it's aligned right. And then I'm going to go to master page here and there's a nice insert page number just here so I can insert the page number. In fact, what I'm going to do is just highlight that as well and just make it a little bigger. Uh, 12 points should do the trick. So when I show it, and I'm actually going to print this and show you this. So this is how we're going to go. All right. Uh, that's great. So that's the right page number one. So I want number. I want another master for both pages. So let us right click here and I go to insert duplicate page just here. And if you look at the name of it, it says copy of B, isn't it? It's just, uh, oh, you missed that one there. So it's copy of B. So what I want to do is right click and rename this. And I'm just going to call this one page num both. Of course, you can call this anything you want. Notice there you've got the Oops, you've got the C, uh, the prefix there, uh, the idea of C, but then you've got the description there, page num, both. So I click on OK. So now I've changed the name of that. That's, fun. That's great. So over here, I'm going to insert the page number again. So master page, insert page number. That's great. Just in, go back to home here. Just increase the size by two. So you can see here, I've done that. So far, so good. Hopefully, you're keeping up. Um, that's good. Okay, so now I've got um, three nice masters that I can use. One with the page number on the right, just here, so I can use it at the beginning. Uh, this one here from pretty much every page here as well. And then I've got one in the middle. I probably don't need that one, but I'm going to keep it there just anyway. So let me close down the master pages. So remember how we do that. We go to master page, close master page here, and we're back on our main document. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert a few pages. So make sure I'm on page two. Okay, uh, I'm just going to right click there. I'm going to go to insert page. Uh, and I'm interested in a couple of other pages. So let's just insert three pages. I'm going to do after the current page. It's going to be blank pages, but the master page is going to be page num both. So I'm going to choose page num both and click on OK. And then I can choose these ones here. Oh, I've chosen three pages here. Uh, in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll add one more page in. So if I right click on these last two pages here, insert page, just make sure there's one page after the right pane, insert blank, and then um, I'll just keep this master page here, just click on OK, and there we go, that's our last page there. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm going to do now is just, if you just go to pages two and three, and if you look like me, you can see, you know, that's been picked up, but, you know, this one hasn't. So I just want to apply a master page to all of these pages here. So I'm just going to hold down the shift key so you can see there that both of these now are selected. 
So I held down the shift key on the keyboard to do that. Then I can right click, go to master pages, and I want to do page num both. So if I do that, so now I can see pages two and three have the page numbers in their right corners. If I go to this one here as well, I can see four and five of the page numbers in the correct corners. I should say correct, not right, because this one's in the left corner, you know. Click on this one here. Oh, page six. Oh, I don't want my page number to be in the middle here. So I'm telling you what, I'm just going to right click and remove the master by choosing none. So I don't want a page number on that last page. Great, so it's almost ready. I just need to put some content on. So again, see, um, I've got a video of how to create a, a book in Publisher, and it's really a book cover. Uh, I'm probably going to change that title as well. But uh, I go into a lot about moving things around, etc. So if you, I'm going to go through this quite sharpish, but uh, hopefully you can um, keep up. If not, book a training course. There you go. So what we'll do is I'm going to go to page two and here I would insert a text box. So I'm going to draw a text box. There we go. And in this text box here you could type things like the credits, you know, like so, you know, uh, I would like to thank my mum, you know, something like that there. That's what you would like to you know, do. So that would appear on the back page there. Then if I go to this page here, or just this one on the right hand side, um, say for instance, it could be a table of contents there. I'll tell you what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to put in a rectangle in here. Let me just click on the fit button at the bottom right hand corner so I can just do that. Let me just be able to drag that down. That's, it. that's good. Excellent. Uh, that's fine. Oh, notice here. Oh, I'll tell you what I haven't done here. Oh my goodness, I haven't applied this the right uh, master to this one so I'm just going to right click on page one go to master pages and choose page num right that's better so the page number will appear let me just move myself up here so it should be hidden underneath here there it is maybe one day I'll do a video that will show you just how to get that page number above this one here just a couple of te techniques for that can't give everything away so if you haven't done so subscribe there you go uh, let's just take the shape outline off. I'm not a great outline fan. That's fine. Good. Just make and move it to the edge. And I don't want to spend loads of time on it. If I go to page two and three, let's move myself down. I'll tell you what, a nice picture placeholder. I just go to page two and three. There we go. Uh, so insert uh, picture placeholder. I could pop a like a picture at the top here. And there we go. Let's drag this at the top. I'll tell you what, there's something nice under the page design. There's guides here. I can go to built-in ruler guides. It will give you a rough idea so you can just li line things up a little bit. It just makes things easier. Uh, I can put text boxes in, etc. So I'm just going to choose a picture. Uh, I'm going to choose the Isle of Man because that's where they do the TT racing. Have a look and see what pictures come up for that one. So I'm going to scroll down and there's a nice one there. I'm just going to click on that and insert. There we go. And then I'll just choose a part of this that I want to show. So that looks good enough. Click away. Nice little picture. And of course, you can insert text boxes, and because you've got margins, so the guides up here makes it easier to sort of like click and drag to create your um, text box and snap it into place, etc. There we go. And I've got again, please look at the other publisher videos in this series as well to see how this works. It does stuff like, you know, once you've done one text box and you've done another, uh, then you would want to link. Oops. Uh, one text box with another okay um, so what you can do is you can click on this text box here and under format at the top create link you can link between this box and where would I put this box this box here so that's one box here and one box here incidentally if you can't see see if I click away it looks like this text box is almost invisible I can't see it so a nice little tip is if you click on view here at the top okay and then um, over here on boundaries, just uh, here, view and boundaries. That's great. So you can see the text boxes here, which makes it a little easier. So I click on this box up to formats, okay, uh, here, and then yeah, I've created a link between one and the other already. So I'm just going to copy that text and then just paste it, and then you can see it paste from one box to another, and then that's link. Yeah, that's linked. So it looks half decent. Of course, I can go to the next one. I can, of course. Maybe you want to copy and paste all of that. If I can select all of that here and then copy that and then swap to the next pages here and paste that in. So it normally comes into the sort of similar layout and then maybe change the picture here as well. 
So you can click on the picture and go to Format, Change Picture, and that's it. And then we can have a look at a motor bike engine. There we go. Just have a look and see if we can get some. Ah, oh, that's a lovely engine there. So let's go click on that, click on Insert. So that picks a nice big engine there. Let's just click away. I just want to get rid of this one here and press delete on the keyboard. You get the idea. And last but not least, of course, the smiley face. So let's just insert the shape of the smiley face. Oh, I can't find my, there it is, there we go. So we can do our smiley face just here. And of course it needs to be yellow. So let's just change that to a yellow smiley face. Great, nearly there. Thanks for hanging on in there. Now we're ready to print it. And I'm actually gonna print that. We're gonna go to the printer. I'm gonna bring the printer out back and have a look at it. So what we're gonna do, remember to save it if you must, because if you're going through this, um, go to file, we're going to go to print. This is connecting to my Epson printer through the internet here, so hopefully it will make that connection um, or through the network. So what we're going to print all of the pages, that's great. Uh, we're going to print, it's got one page per sheet, so I just need to change this a little bit because I want to you choose a booklet side fold. Can you see that where? The booklet side fold. So that's what we want to choose, so just make sure I've got that one there, all, up to all pages. There we go, booklet side fold. So there we go, so it's all coming together there. It's chosen the paper size automatically, but if not, just click on the drop down list and choose your right paper size. Make sure you've got some paper in the printer. And then the next one down where it says print one sided, well we need to do it both sided. Now my printer is a duplex printer, meaning it will automatically flip the pages over for you. Um, but if it's manual, you'll have to choose manual and do it yourself. But the important thing is you would print on both sides, flip sheets on the short edge. So it's flip sheets on the short, short edge, and I'll tell you for why. So what will happen is, is this is basically A4, so it's going to print this and then flip it this way on this edge, on this short edge. So let's pop that there. Let's just go in, just have a review. We've got our printer there. We're printing all the pages. It's booklet side fold A4, printing on both sides, flipping edge, flipping, <laughs> flip sheets on the short edge. So it's going to do that on the short edge there. Let's print it. So I'm going to click on print and it's going to go to the printer there and hopefully my printer will flip it around and do that automatically but manually you might have to muck around with that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this now. I'm going to go and get the print out, bring it back and we'll see how we did. Okay, let's just pause that. Hi there, welcome back. <laughs> now I've gone to the printer. <coughs> me. I've gone to the printer, I've brought it back and this is what I've got here. Uh, just a couple of uh, printouts here. You can see that I've printed them on both sides uh, here. So I've got this front and the back. Um, well, you get the idea. So let me slot them together so I can put them together like this. Uh, and then I can fold them. Just make sure I put them right. There we go. And then I can fold them along this edge here like so. And yeah, great. So you can see my front. And if you look, you can see there are there's no page number on the front there. So if I just open here and I can see there you've got your credits just here as well, so the various credits. Uh, if I look over here, you can see that you've got a page number just here. I hope you can make that one out. And then I can turn the document, so let's do that, shall we? And there's our center page spread just here, very proud of that. Uh, can you see that one there? Yeah, that's good, so there we go. And then if you look down here, you can see uh, page two. And then over here, you've got page three. And this next bit, especially proud of, I just go over here like so. I can see, there we go, the picture of the engine. See, this is actually separate pages there, but the picture of the engine here. And again, I've got pages, uh, sorry, I should start off with this one, four, and then pages five like that. And of course, on the back page, the nice smiley face. So there we go, printing a booklet in uh, Microsoft Publisher. So I hope you've liked this tutorial. If you haven't done so, then please do give it a thumbs up. Uh, that would be great. If you haven't already done so, then please subscribe. There's so much more you can do with Publisher and we can look at looking um, at Publisher working with other programs as well. Um, thanks so much for all of your comments and your support as well. Uh, they would be encouraging. Uh, it's great. If you haven't already done so, then please check Computer Tutoring, our website, where we will conduct Publisher courses. Uh, and we also do publish other courses such as in Adobe products like InDesign uh, as well. Not bad, eh? So, oh, there's one more thing I've completely forgotten to say. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>